Hello everybody, today you will learn how to install Apache, MySQL and PHP on an Ubuntu server, also known as the LAMP stack. So without further ado, let's go ahead and create a server. I'm using DigitalOcean. If you're new to DigitalOcean, you can use my referral code from the description and you'll get a $100 free credit that you could use to spin up your own servers. So I'm just going to choose this $6 per month server for the demo. Then I'll choose the location that's closest to me. I'll select all of my SSH keys. I'll pick up a name for the server, call it LAMP. And if you're going to run this in production, I would recommend enabling backups as well. As this is just a demo server, I'm going to create the droplet. This is not going to take more than a minute and I'm just going to speed up the video. Okay, and that's done now. What I'll do is copy the IP and then go to my terminal. Now I would use SH to connect to the server. The default username is root, as all of the DigitalOcean droplets are unmanaged, so you have full access. I'll quickly type my passphrase. And with that, I'm now on the server itself. Here we can see that we are running Ubuntu 20.04.2. The first thing that you want to do is run an apt update. Then the next thing that you want to do is install Apache by running apt install Apache 2. Then I would say yes. With that, Apache should now be running and also should be enabled. So if you do system CTL status Apache 2, we can see that the Apache service is already active and it's already enabled. And now if you actually visit your IP, so let's quickly get the IP of the server. If we go to our browser, we will see the default Apache landing page here. Okay, so once Apache is installed, let's go ahead and install MySQL. To do that, I would just type apt install mysql server then i would say yes again this might take some time so i'll just speed up the video okay this is done so if we check the status of the mysql service with the system ctl status mysql command we will be able to see that the mysql service is again active and it's enabled if we use the mysql command you can actually access the mysql service what I'd like to do is to run the MySQL secure installation command so that my MySQL installation is actually secured. Here you can follow the steps and make sure to put a secure password. Then I would go ahead and remove all anonymous users and I would disallow remote root logins. I would remove the test database and I would preload the privileges. Okay, with that our MySQL server has been secured. The next thing that we want to do is actually install PHP as well. To do that, I'll just type apt install PHP. And what you also might want to do is install the MySQL extension for PHP. I'll run that. As of the time being, we are installing the PHP 7.4, which is the default package that comes with Ubuntu 20. I might do a future video where I show you how to install the latest PHP version. Continue. Okay, now this is done. If we type PHP minus V, we can see the PHP version that's been installed. And now let's actually check if this is all working. So let's cd to the var www.html folder. And here, let's quickly create an info file. I'll call this info.php and I'll just put the PHP info function here. If I save that and then if I head back to my browser, then if I visit this file, info.php, we'll be able to see the information for our PHP installation. So with that, we have now installed PHP, Apache and MySQL on our Ubuntu server. I'll go ahead and show you another way that you could get this all set up with one click. If we head again to our DigitalOcean control panel, then go to droplets, then under the Marketplace tab, we have a lot of images with pre-installed software. And one of those is the LAMP stack. So if we select that, 
Then if we again choose the size of our droplet, choose the location, again I'll select my all, all of my SH keys, just leave that Islam demo, and I'll create a droplet. Again, I'll speed up the video. Okay, this is done now. So if we actually visit the IP straight away in our browser, we'll be able to see a landing page with some instructions on what are the next steps. So that's another way of getting a LAMP stack installed on your server with just one click. As you saw, we didn't have to do any server configuration. So this is going to be pretty much it for this video. I hope you find this useful. And if you have any questions, please post them down below. I try to answer all of the questions that I get under my videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you next.